In this video, I'll be showing you some things about the angles inside triangles and outside of triangles. And specifically, the angles inside the triangle are called the interior angles, and the angles outside of the triangles are going to be called the exterior angles. And to be a little more specific about what we're talking about, let me slide these out of the way. And we'll just start looking at this triangle here. Of course, the triangle has three angles inside, and the interior angles are there, there, and there. Those are our three interior angles. And if I want to show the exterior angles, it's a little more complicated than just saying it's this angle out here. It's more complicated than that. The, the definition of an exterior angle is very specific. And to draw an exterior angle, what you need to do is you need to pick one side of your triangle, so I'll start with this one, and you need to extend the side of it. So I'll take my marker and I'll extend the side of this triangle out this way. Now, the exterior angle is this portion of it right there. This is the exterior angle. It's the angle that is created outside the triangle when you extend one of the sides. So I can do the same thing again if I want to extend another side, I can take this side over here and I'll extend this side going this way. And now this angle out here is an exterior angle. So we've got an interior adjacent to an exterior. Same thing here, the interior angle is adjacent to this exterior angle. They share this side in between them. And I can draw one more over here if I take this third side of the triangle and if I extend it out this way, we've got an interior angle here adjacent to this exterior angle there. I can do the same thing over on this triangle. I've got the three interior triangles, sorry, the three interior angles inside this triangle. So those are the three interior angles and I can create exterior angles just the same way I did before. If I take a side, let's say this one, and extend it, this interior angle is adjacent to this exterior angle. I can extend this side this way, and I now have an interior angle adjacent to an exterior angle. And we can do it one more time. I'll extend this third side in this direction and this interior angle is adjacent to this exterior angle. Another thing that we can say about these is we can say that whenever you have these interior angles and exterior angles adjacent, you notice that they share a vertex they share this point right here. They share one common side in between them. They are adjacent. And these two angles add up to a straight line. So these two angles, we can say, are supplementary. And that leads us to the first thing I will bring over, which is an exterior angle of a triangle is supplementary to its adjacent interior angle. They are supplementary. They add up to 180 degrees. 180 degrees. They are supplementary, so they will add to 180 degrees. All right, well, let's explore these a little more. If I slide that one out of the way, and I need a brand new sheet of paper, I will bring over another sheet of paper. Before I can explore that more, let me kind of back up for a minute. And let's look at the number of degrees. So if I pick a point, if I label that point right there, and if I were to go all the way around that point, you know that would be traveling around 360 degrees. Just like you know there are 360 degrees uh, around a circle, 360 degrees on a compass, 
Um, if you do a complete spin around back to where you started, you've turned yourself 360 degrees. So going all the way around that point is 360 degrees. If I take another point, and if I draw a line through it, now there's the top side and the bottom side. I've split it in half. Well, the top side up here is going to be half of that 360 degrees. So this is 180 degrees. And the bottom side is the other half, or 180 degrees. So where does that lead us? Let's see how that is related to the triangle. If I pick a point on the paper, let's say right here, and if I want to draw a line through that point all the way across the paper, I know that from here to here, if I go all the way around this way, all the way around would be 360. But this is just going halfway around, so I know that is 180 degrees. I could draw the same on the top side, and that would also be 180 degrees. But let's bring over a triangle now. And I've got this pink triangle here, and I'm going to slide it over so that here's point A, point B, and point C. I'm going to bring it over so point A is right at that dot that I have there, and the bottom side of it is lined up with that line that I drew. So now what I want to do is I want to see um, some of these relationships. First, let me draw the exterior angle. So I can draw this side right here, and this side is now extended, and so I can go from here over to here, and that is our angle D, which is an exterior angle. So we'll call that angle D. So from here over to here, this is our angle D, which is an exterior angle. And I know that from our previous thing that we looked at, that previous theorem on the last page, we know that angle A plus angle D must add up to 180 degrees. 180 degrees, and remember that is because an exterior angle of a triangle is supplementary to its adjacent interior angle. So they are adjacent, this is exterior, this is interior, those are going to be supplementary, or they will add to 180 degrees. Well, how is that related to these other two? What I'd like to do here is I'd like to take this triangle and I'm going to tear off these other corners. So there is my angle B torn off there and let me tear off this angle C up here. So I just tore off these corners or these vertices B and C and what I'd like to do is I'd like to bring them over here. So let's put angle B over here, so the point of it is meeting at the same location as angle A. Slide that over, and I'll take this angle C, so this corner shares the same vertex as the other two, and what you can see is when I line all three of those up, angle A, angle B, and angle C, together they form a straight line. So together those add up to the 180 degrees. So what I can say is I can say that angle A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees. And the theorem that goes with that is right here. The sum of the interior angles of any triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So the interior angles were angle A, B, and C. B was over here and C was up there. So A plus B plus C are adding up to 180 degrees. So that is the, the theorem about the interior angles of the triangle. They add to 180 degrees. Well, There's one other thing that we can look at here and that is related to exterior angles. If I just 
uh, remove a couple of these for just a minute. Remember that angle D was this exterior angle. It was exterior, it was adjacent to angle A. Well, if I slide this triangle out of the way, and notice when I brought over B and C, and put them over here, angles B and C are exactly equal to that exterior angle D. So these two interior angles, when put together, when added together, are equal to this exterior angle on the other side of the triangle. And if I bring over this theorem then, here's a different one. The exterior angle of a triangle is, sorry, that's not the right one. This is the one that I wanted. The measure of the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of the two non-adjacent interior angles. So let's explain. Angle D is adjacent to angle A. They are adjacent. They share the same vertex. They share a side together. These are adjacent angles. Well, angle D is not adjacent to these interior angles over here, angles B and C. So when we say this, the angle, this exterior angle, is equal to the sum of the measures of the two non-adjacent interior angles. So these are the non-adjacent interior angles. If we add these two together, we get this angle D. And just as proof, one more time, if I bring over angle B, put it right here. And if I bring over angle C, put it right here you can see that angle B plus C is equal to D. So that's the last one I'll put here. B plus C is equal to D. So hopefully that makes sense and hopefully uh, you've learned a few things about the interior angles of a triangle that they add up to 180 degrees and you learn something about the exterior angles. This exterior angle D is equal to these non-adjacent interior angles added together.